Hello and welcome to another video from Black Arab. In this video, um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about password managers and showing you guys why you need one. So yeah, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, please go and check that out on my channel. And if you like this type of content, please like, comment, share and subscribe. As always, I've written a blog to go along with this video. So in this video is um, a quick run through of why you need a password manager, um, a little bit about browser-based password managers and I actually run through the installation on Windows and on Linux so if you don't want to hear me talk and you'd rather just kind of see this in a blog or guide just go check that out I will link that in the description so yeah without further ado um, let's get straight into the video right so to install um, password manager on Linux you all you need to do is run this apt get install key pass. I did just run this, so I have already got it. That's why it kind of says, um, you know, not upgraded, nothing newly installed. Yeah, I've, yeah. So to open it, you can just type it in your terminal key pass X, or you can find it in your application list. Um, completely up to you, whatever is easier. Let's get it open. Okay, so. Hold on a second, let me mess around with this and just get it a little bit bigger so you guys can see this. There you go, that's a bit better. Let's get rid of this in the background. That's perfect. Right, so um, first thing you want to do is create a new database. This is the only password you'll ever have to remember and that is the beauty of a password manager. You have one password, make it long, make it secure, have numbers, you know, lowercase, uppercase, some special characters. Um, ideally, you want it to look, I mean, you can do phrases, but if you just add a bit of code, um, for example, you can just do, I like, I don't know, Lin, instead of a U, we'll go for and sign, capital X, um, I had a couple of random signs, I like Linux, and maybe just a bit of randomness at the end, something like that, something completely random, completely secure, you know what I mean, but this is the only password you'll ever have to remember, so just do a phrase or something coded that you remember, and write it down until you've memorized it, then burn that piece of paper and get rid of it. So once that is done, um, I'm just going to pick something really short, not very secure, just for the proof of concept of the video, just to kind of show you guys. So yeah, um, what you want to do is you will get a group already created for you called root. So you can change the name of this. Um, the groups here are, you can create different groups, add new groups of password. Let's say, you know, you want to separate your shopping passwords to your work passwords, to your personal passwords, to, you know, your streaming services. You might just have one group just for like Netflix, you know, Amazon Prime, um, YouTube. I don't know. You know, you can just have basically different groups within it. I don't really use that. I just have one big ugly looking list, but it works for me. I know where everything is. Um, you can just rename this to whatever you want. So yeah, to add an entry, you can click on this button here, or you can also go to add new entry there. Or alternatively, you can just do control N. The title would be the title that appears of your entry. So let's say we're creating some passwords for Facebook. You'll have your title as Facebook. So you know that that's what it's for. Um, username would be for Facebook, I think it's your email address, so blah 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 at gmail.com. Obviously not my real details, but yeah. You can also add the URL, which can take you straight to the Facebook site, which you can open from KeyPass. There are plugins and stuff as well, um, so yeah, do check that out. Um, from here, this is the best feature of it all, they generate. So generate here you can change the length that you want your password to be it does go all the way to 64 um you know i think most passwords are between 8 and 20 characters so let's just stick within that range for now you can change the character types so you can you know only have for example special characters and numbers 
you can have lowercase with that you know different combinations of this will kind of result in you know just having one kind of character type or you can have all of them for the kind of best type of security for your password anyway um close add a url once you've got that you can just press accept um, and that will essentially have your password there ready you can add a url you can add notes so if this is your credit card you can add extra details that you want to add whatever it is um, there are more advanced features and like little icons that you can pick so you know you can have different things like maybe but i don't know this one might be let's say apple id the little setting things um i don't know that one can represent uh, whatever that can be the yeah, apple id actually that looks more like a <laughs> apple id icon but you get the point lots of nice little icons that you can check out um you have history so you can keep track of when it was last modified um another cool feature is expires so when you add when you tick the expires box you can kind of set a date where it expires so i Ideally, you know, for quite good security, changing your password every three months is pretty secure. So you can set it like that. So I know in three months, this will kind of remind me to change my password um, and it will prompt me and generate a new password for me. So just by doing that, we've oh, got the Apple sign, never mind. Um, from here, you just kind of log into Facebook, you know, copy and paste your username your password you can also open the url if i did that if i did add that in there um so let's edit it and if i was to do open facebook so www.facebook.com there you go now i'll just open the url this failed to execute for some reason but yeah let's ignore that anyway um yeah so quite a few cool features of this um i just personally use it i'll have it open the beginning of my day when i'm signing into things and i'll just copy my passwords onto um my sign in and i'll just sign into what i need to sign into and that's all done so yeah very cool um you do need to save your database for it to update so if you have just changed your password to something new please make sure you save your database so to save your database it's very it's a good idea to have your database hidden in a random ass kind of place that you wouldn't expect to find a password database so for example network manager device you know somewhere completely random that you just wouldn't expect to see a database just in case you do ever get hacked or breached um, you know no one's ever going to be able well the but unless there's really kind of a good hacker, it's very unlikely that they're going to get anywhere near there. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it just reduces the chances of that happening, makes it more difficult for them. Also, don't call your file a database, you know, call it something completely random, like blog or, I don't know, file or word, uh, image, I don't know, you know, something completely random, just so let's let's call it image for us yeah just so if anyone did eventually kind of stumble onto it they'd never guess it's actually you know a password database so we're going to be doing some bad practice and sticking it on our desktop for now um just to show you guys but yeah add new entries there are a lot of features to this so please do check them out um also um do check out the help section on the keypass website um, but yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I prefer this to the cloud-based um, password managers. I know they do have quite high levels of encryption and the way in which, you know, you kind of access it is through your master password, which then kind of unlocks a certain level of encryption. It's a bit later on. Um, Computerfile has a really good video on that. I will link that in the description. Um, but yeah, the way you... The way you kind of keep your own database to me is secure because you can keep it where you want your own control of it rather than trusting a third party company not third party but you know another company to essentially secure your details for you um you know this way at least you're responsible for your own details you can keep them safe and secure um 
and if, as long as you're clever with it, you look after it, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's kind of how you install it on Linux. Um, right, so we've saved our database. Okay, um, so, so we've got our Facebook password there. Install your Windows version. Um, go to Google, keypass X in Google. Click on the first one, um, keypassx.org. Go to the latest version at the top, the downloads page over here. Um, select the Windows version. Um, zip bundle, blah, 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 blah. Um, once you've got that, it will look like this over here. Let's just zoom in just so you guys can see that. So yeah, you've got this file here. Essentially, you just want to extract this, which I've already done. Um, I'm just getting this kind of confirmed to replace, but yeah, let's just say yes to all. So it replaced it with this, but you know, if I didn't have that there, um, and I did, it would just extract it. Still it on my other screen, but I'll just track it over. But there you go. Once that's there, uh, um, open that up. You've got this keypass.x executable. You don't need to install this, it just like it's an executable file, so no installation required. Click on that and you are in. Now let's just delete that for a second. Um, to basically open our database, we're gonna just copy this one we made um, out of our Linux. We're gonna paste it into our Windows. Um, you could do this in a Dropbox, maybe send it over an email. There's a few different kind of ways you can essentially do this. So yeah, it's gonna ask us for our password. Just type that in and we're in. So as you can see, it's kind of very good, easy over Linux to Windows, to even your phone, to, there's so many kind of options where this can kind of be cross OS that's the right terminology whatever but yeah you keep your details on every single platform um which is really cool um so yeah highly recommend this go and install it i'm not advertising this i'm not getting paid to you know advertise from key pass or anything like that i am literally just saying this because i think it is a very good piece of software and i use it myself um, there are other password managers out there so do check them out um, if you find something you prefer this is slightly inconvenient because you do have to manage your own database, but I believe that is what makes it secure. While with others, it might be more convenient, but then you have slightly less kind of security. So yeah, a few different options out there. Check them all out. I prefer to stay off the cloud options myself. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. 